Hello and welcome to this video. This video will be about what to do after you've installed Ubuntu Server 16.04 on um, VirtualBox as a virtual machine. So let's go ahead and get started. In our last video we went over a few things such as um, configuring our firewall, looking up our IP uh, that's connected to our uh, interface, and um, several other things such as uh, installing open SSH and checking the ports on our on our uh, system so in this video what I'd like to go over is installing some tools that you might want to use or what I normally use for my server after I have it installed and so as we went over also uh, we talked about what package manager we use for Ubuntu server systems and the one that comes default with it uh, on the command line is um, apt-get. Now there's another one called aptitude but I don't hardly use that one so for now we'll just go, go ahead and use apt-get. As we said apt-get is a, a package manager that can install all of your packages for you and configure them. It does a real good job of doing that. So one package that we want to look at installing is called Nmap. Nmap is a free open source uh, uh, network mapping tool. It, you can use it for doing a lot of uh, uh, port scans. You can use it for scanning uh, remote machines, looking and seeing what type of ports those other machines have open. Uh, what type of services they have running on them, etc. It's a really good uh, software package. I suggest you download it. Now, for most Ubuntu machines, what you want to do is, if you don't have it installed, you want to look up information about the package to make sure that it's in your repositories. So, what I would do is I would do a search to see if Nmap is in your repository. It is, but just as an exercise, let's go ahead and do a search anyway. So to do that, you do uh, sudo apt-cache and space, and you can do use two options. You can use search, space, and then nmap. Once you press enter, it will ask you, to, it will prompt you for your password. Oh, I guess it won't because I've already used it earlier. Um, in either case, you should see Nmap, and if you look at here, you'll see it, let's see, one, two, three, you'll see it the third uh, option down. It says Nmap dash the network mapper. Now, that's one command you can use to search it out. Another command, if we go ahead and do a clear, and then we hit the up arrow, instead of using the word search, we can use the word show and press enter and as you can see it will give you information about the package that you're looking at and if it's in the repositories it will go ahead and give you that information and so that's another way of doing a search through the repositories if we haven't went over this earlier a Linux repository is basically a database that holds all of the packages or the software packages for your distribution uh, most distributions have them, and you use the package manager, which in our case is apt get, to manipulate and go through the packages or the repositories. So you can download them, you can search through them, you can do stuff like that. So let's go ahead and clear the screen. Press enter a few times. And what we're going to do on here is so we're going to go ahead and install Nmap. And the command is sudo space apt dash get install. And then, like I say, we want to use a minus. Well, I tell you what, let's see what happens when you install a package without the minus y. And you're just going to type in nmap and press enter. Now, as you can see, it's as it gives you the information of uh, all the dependencies and what it's going to install. And then it asks you, this is what we're doing, or this is what we're going to install. Do you want to continue? And then you just press Y for yes. And it's going to go ahead and install Nmap. All right. 
and then it's all it's installed so you just go ahead and click clear or type in clear and press enter now remember in our last video we went over how to look up the IP address that's attached to our interface so to go ahead and do that again because we're going to need, need that for when we're using nmap and to do that let's just use the uh, shortcut that we went over in the last video and that's IP space a for address space s for show space and then the interface name which in our case was ENP 0 s 3 and then press enter on your keyboard and voila there you go there's your IP address and that's the IP address we're going to need to use for nmap now nmap is a tool that needs uh, root rights so you'll need to either be signed in under root or use the sudo command if you are a part of the root group or admin group. Um, so the command is going to be sudo space and it's minus at small s large s for uh, uh, stealthily using the tool and then a minus small s again minus v and the v stands for verbose and then you type in your IP address which is 192.168.1.11 and then you press enter on the keyboard and away it will go oops looks like I made a mistake let's see here oh silly me I forgot to include the command uh, in map so let's just go ahead and clear the screen we'll hit the up arrow a few times we'll come over here and we will put in the command in map space and then the rest of that command, then you press enter. And, and map will go through and scan all of your ports. And once it's done, it gives you a little quick uh, report. And as you can see here, our port 22 is open. And that's good, because that's the port we want open. That's the only port we want open for now. And to verify that, you can use the net stack command. We did that in the last video too and you do uh, a T for TCP IP, L for listen, and an N for the port that it's listening on. And then you press enter. And as you can see, port 22 is open. And also, to check the services for port 22, which is under SSH, and the name of it would be SSHD, the D standing for Damien. A Damien in the Linux Unix world means the service is working in the background. So to check the services, we just go sudo space, and then we use the systemd command, which is system ctl space status space sshd, and we press enter. And as we can see, it is active. And that's good. We're good to go then. So, let's clear the screen. The last thing we want to do today is we want to go ahead and configure the uh, interface for ENP0S3. And instead of letting it be dynamic, we want to make it static. A dynamic IP address is an IP address that changes uh, every so often through the uh, DHCP server. The DHCP server will give it a new IP address at a certain point. Um, as opposed to a static IP address which never changes. So what we want to do is change our IP address from a dynamic IP address to a static IP address. And what we want to do is we want to move over to um, the folder and the um, the file that manipulates or has the information for uh, our network interfaces. And that's going to be in the Etsy folder. So it's going to be do a CD to change the directory and then ETC and then press uh, network. Network. Uh, press tab. It should complete it. Yes. And then we press enter. Now, if we do an LS, we should find the, um, the file that we're looking for, and it's just going to be named interfaces. So let's do an LS and press enter. And as you see in white, that is our file right there. It says interfaces. Now, before we manipulate or do any changes to uh, that file, what we want to do is make a backup of it. 
The best way to do that is through copying it. Make a copy of it. So we'll do a, uh, let's see here. Let's do a sudo space CP. That's for copy. Interfaces. Okay, space and then interfaces again. And this time uh, we're going to do a D. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to do a dot and then a BCK for backup. Okay, and then you press enter. And then let's clear the screen. Press enter, enter. And do an LS again to list all the contents in the directory. And that's going to be LS. And as you can see, we have a backup of our interface uh, file. That's so if we make any changes that we, we forgot about or we don't remember, we can go ahead and just do a backup of it or restore from that backup. So let's do a LS space minus L. The reason why we want to do this is I want to show you that interfaces, that, that file is owned by the root. Okay, so we do a press enter. As you can see, interfaces is owned by root. So in order to manipulate it, change it, and then save it again, we're going to have to have root rights or use the sudo command. So the command we want to run is just going to be, let's clear the screen first, press enter several times, and we're going to manipulate this, this file with our favorite uh, package, uh, I'm sorry, with our favorite uh, text editor. Um, for me, what we're going to use is VI. Uh, you can use Nano or any uh, or Emacs or whatever uh, text editor you prefer. But for me, I'm going to use VI. So it's going to be VI space interfaces. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. We got to use the sudo command. Sudo space VI space interfaces. And we want to press enter. Okay. And so what we want to do is hit the down arrow. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, change uh, ENP, ENP 0S3 to a static IP address. So you usually press I for, inner, for um, insert. And then we're going to go ahead over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to press auto. And then let's see, let's do... static space and then hit the tab bar and then we're going to go ahead and type in address and then 192.168.1.11 space tab and then the next thing we're going to do is put in our net mask right, and that's going to be one. Oh, I'm sorry 255.255.255.0 oops zero tab again and let's see we're gonna put in our default gateway or just gateway and that's gonna be 192.168.1.1 and then we're gonna put in our DNS which is going to be the same, 192.168.1.1. Okay, and so that's how we go ahead and configure that, our interface, so that we can make it static IP. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get out of this. With VI, you press the escape key, and then you type down at the bottom. Well, it's going to show up at the bottom. You just type uh, colon, WQ, W to write the file and Q to quit. Okay. All right. And now that we've done that, now the next thing we can do, I think there's a network uh, service that we can restart. Let's press enter several times and then we'll do a sudo space and then system CTL space status. And let's check and see. I think it's network. It might be network D. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's network D. If not, okay, if not, then what we'll need to do is we'll need to go ahead and reboot our system. Now, there's two ways of doing that. You can use 
uh, the command it's going to be uh, sudo shut down space minus R for reboot and then now if you just want to go ahead and shut it off you can just instead of the minus R you can do a minus H for halt and that will go ahead and turn off the computer if you do a minus R it will reboot the computer okay there's two other commands. yeah there's uh, two other commands we can use instead of using uh, the sudo all we have to do is type in reboot and that will go ahead and reboot the, the computer or we can type in power off that will also reboot the computer or that will turn off the computer sorry about that and then once we turn off the com or reboot the computer it will go ahead and come back up and then that static IP address should stay the same so let's go ahead and do that now let's go ahead and do a reboot press enter the system is going to reboot and then it should come back up and we should see that our IP address is going to stay the same as I mean it was already uh, 192.168.1.11 it's just going to stay that way but after it reboots, we're going to go ahead and look at it. So we just go ahead and log in with our username, put in our password. Okay. And then we just go ahead and look up our IP address. Zero S three. Okay. And just ping it. And it is pingable. Okay, I think that'll be it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and you have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye.